Our part of New England is at much lower than normal levels of precipitation over the past few months. We don't know how much snow and rain we'll be getting in the coming months, so the City of Keene is asking you to help conserve our water supply by reducing your water use by 10%. Take the 10% challenge. You'll be saving water and saving money at the same time. Did you know that showering is one of the biggest water users in your entire house? Now, a typical shower might use about two and a half gallons a minute, but some of the old shower heads from back in the 80s, they might use up to eight gallons a minute. Are you taking the 10% challenge? Well, I've been trying to think outside the box to come up with great ways to save water, like this. See, I'm taking a shower, I'm doing my laundry, and I'm doing my dishes, and not only that, I'm saving some of the wash water to make soup. I call it my laundry soup. I know what you're thinking. You're a genius, right? You're also probably wondering, how's that working out for you? How's the soup? <laughs> Turns out it didn't work out so well after all. But I do have some ideas that did work. So let's say you have a shower head that uses two and a half gallons per minute, and you take a 10 minute shower. That works out to 25 gallons of water per shower. That's a lot of water. So change out that old shower head with a low flow shower head. And make sure you look for the water sense label. See, here's the logo. And they're super easy to change. All you have to do is unscrew the old one, screw in the new one. You're all set. So you've changed out your old shower head and you've put in a new low flow shower head. Instead of using 25 gallons for a 10 minute shower, you're only using 15 gallons for a 10 minute shower. You've saved 10 gallons right there. So for a family of four, you could save up to 14,000 gallons per year just by changing out your shower head. You cut your shower time in half, change from a 10 minute shower to a five minute shower, you can save 25,000 gallons a year for a family of four. And you're saving the money that you use to heat the water. So you're saving money on your water bill, you're saving money on your electric bill. Cha-ching, cha-ching, am I right? So those are two great tips to help you meet the 10% challenge. First, a low flow shower head. Second, take shorter showers. And you can turn into the Keen Public Works Facebook page for more ideas. See you next time.